Scripture passage from Matthew has Jesus teaching us to pray the Our Father prayer. This prayer is so familiar to most of us that we recite it without thinking. However, if you really consider the words of it, it is a perfect, simple prayer. Jesus reminds us that our gracious God is like a father to us. It is a family relationship, and we are his children. We are asked to praise him and be grateful. There is an invitation to open our hearts to God's will or desire for us and to surrender to whatever that might be each day. Jesus taught, as you know, of the importance of taking one day at a time and trusting in God's providence. Before I was born, my mother's first husband died of lung cancer at a young age, and she was left with five young children to raise alone. She was a quiet woman who rarely shared her faith, but she did tell me once of this difficult time during which she did not always know where the next loaf of bread was coming from, but prayed each night to God for help, and it was always there. This story of hers has always stuck with me. Give us this day our daily bread. Jesus also teaches of the importance of forgiveness. We need forgiveness ourselves, and we are invited to forgive others. We are part of a human family with God as our parent asking us to love one another and to do the kind thing to build up and not take down. We can make an act to pray for forgiveness, even for those for whom we need to keep safe boundaries. We can hope for the well-being of all, which in the end is for our own well-being, peace, and freedom. We need our daily connection to the divine ground of our being. Real prayer will change us as it invites our loving God to dwell within us, within our hearts. And in doing so, we hope to reflect back into the world God's light and love. The closer we get to God, the closer we get to our true self and hopefully make choices that move us in the right direction. It is a journey, and some say the longest journey, from the mind to the heart. Theophan the Recluse wrote, To pray is to descend with the mind into the heart, and there to stand before the face of God, ever-present, all singing within you dwells within you, within all of us, and prayer helps us to recognize and see the Spirit of God within ourselves and within all of creation. Prayer opens us up to see all things anew with hope. St. Ignatius of Loyola encouraged those beginning the spiritual exercises to pray the Our Father prayer very slowly, savoring each word. And I invite you to take one verse of this prayer each day for the next few days and savor each verse's meaning and insight for you. Let the graces of the verse sink in deeply, going from your head to your heart. Be open to what God may wish to reveal to you 
through your time in prayer. Peace be with you.